Hey bikers, my name is Pierce. I'm here with electricbikereport.com and today we have the new Radwagon 4. The Radwagon 4 is an extremely versatile cargo slash commuter bike that's going to be able to get the job done regardless of what you're trying to do. If you're trying to load some extra groceries from the store, it can do that. And if you want to take your friend somewhere, it can do that as well. With a lot of modular parts for the whole part of the bike, you are going to be able to make this bike specific to the way you want to ride. Coming in at only around the $1,600 price range, this bike packs a lot of punch for that price and it's not going to burn the hole in your pocket. We were super impressed with this and I am super excited to show you what it's all about. I'll see you out there. So when you receive your Radwagon 4 in the mail, it's going to come in a box just like this. Rad's mechanics take the time to assemble each bike completely, test ride them, and then disassemble to about 85% before packing it back up into the box and shipping it to customers. We appreciated seeing this from Rad, as it only took us around 20 minutes to assemble the rest of the bike. That consisted of putting on the kickstand, putting on the front wheel, and then adjusting the handlebars and the sweep of the handlebars accordingly. The instruction manual was pretty straightforward, and we think most people will be just fine doing this from home. Now if you don't feel like you're the most mechanically sound, Rad Power Bikes also offers convenient mobile service solutions, so you can have your bike fully assembled, tuned, and delivered directly to your door by a professional bike mechanic. So now that you're a little bit more familiar with what the Rad Wagon is, I wanna take the time to actually ride this thing through some areas that you would probably be riding in if you own the Rad Wagon yourself. So a little bit more paved areas, urban commuting, cargo commuting, stuff like that. So I'll take this test ride time to actually tell you a little bit about this bike. First off, it comes with a 750 watt brushless rear hub motor. The benefit to that is even with those heavier cargo loads, you're gonna be just fine carrying those up even the steepest of hills. And it gives that extra 50 to 75 watts or so for if it really needs to crank around to get it up the hill, it can do that. From our experience riding this bike, it is not very common you're going to max it out like that, but it is good peace of mind to know it has more in the tank if it needs to. On top of that, you have a 48 volt battery with usually a four to six hour charge time. We find that is more than enough for your average commute on this bike. You're gonna get anywhere between 25 and 35 miles on full blast. So essentially, if you're railing this thing as hard as you can, you're still gonna get 25 to 35 miles. And I'd be surprised if your commute is farther than that. Kudos to you if it is, and you're taking this thing out every day. So when it comes to the frame itself, they've actually changed their old rag wagon frame from steel all the way over to 6061 alloy now. The benefit to that is it's a lot lighter and you're going to find it is a little bit more compliant to some of those bigger bumps and stuff. It's not so rigid that it hurts. When it comes to your brakes, Tektro makes your brakes and you have 180 millimeter rotors with a mechanical disc brake setup. Now the 180 millimeter rotors are awesome. They stop you super quick. And the mechanical disc brakes have quite a bit of modulation in them as well. I would have liked to see them go to the hydraulic brake. However, I think the mechanical disc brakes keep it a little bit more budget friendly and still do a pretty good job. When it comes to your wheels and tires, you actually have 22 inch uh, circumference on these and three inches wide for your tread. The benefit to that is with your heavier loads on corners and just staying in a straight line, you are a lot more balanced than you would be on a thinner, taller tire. This keeps you low to the ground. The lower the center of gravity that you have, the more likely you are to stay on the line that you choose, as opposed to trying to compensate for it because you're trying to balance everything that you've added to this bike. When it comes to your shifting, you have seven gears total and you have a Shimano group set. I like that they went with the best uh, group set maker in the game besides SRAM. They don't really compensate on their parts at all. They still give you a good group set. I find that seven gears is plenty. 
any more than that. And I feel like you wouldn't be using them. They'd be too easy or too hard of a gear for this bike. And when you have five levels of assistance, again, I find that's more than enough. On the topic of your assistance, you do have those five levels. And so you really do have a level for just about anything that you wanna do. So if you're carrying a heavy load, they have a setting for that. If you're looking to become a speed demon on this thing, they have a setting for that too. So they've really given you specific intervals so this bike can ride at the speed and power level that you want it to. And it stays really consistent with staying within that range that you've set it to. On your LCD display, you're going to have a watt meter letting you know how much power the bike is putting out. So you're able to actually extend the battery life with some simple math seeing, hey, if my legs do more right here, it's actually reducing the stress on the motor and my range goes up. So the combination of your gearing, your assistance levels, the watt meter and your own manpower is going to make this ride very unique to how you would like it. And we really appreciate that coming from such a diverse terrain area. We have a lot of steep hills here. We also have a lot of flat stuff. So being able to really make this bike fly regardless of the surface you're on is a really big pro of this Rad Wagon 4 right here. So when it comes to your saddle, you have the Velo Plush saddle on this bike. And what I found is most bums are gonna get along with this saddle just fine. I've done a lot of miles on this bike, up to 30 miles in one day. And I really like this seat. It doesn't get any less comfortable over time. When it comes to your grips, they are also made by Velo and they are shaped ovular so that your hands don't fall asleep on those longer rides where you're putting a lot of pressure on your hands. One of the cool things about the Rad Wagon is no two of them are going to be the same rider to rider. With so many different accessories to add, it will be custom to you and your lifestyle. The Rad Wagon is going to turn a lot of heads. Anybody who wants an alternative to driving for their groceries or just a fun bike to carry the kids around the neighborhood is going to love it. Regardless if you are driving or just along for the ride, you and your cargo will feel well balanced thanks to the Rad Wagon's design. Rad does a great job of distributing the weight of this 77 pound cargo bike, which can't be said for a lot of rear hub driven e-bikes. They also do a great job of keeping you in control and comfortable on your ride. Unless the bike is powered off or dead, you don't have to put in much work to get the Rad Wagon moving. On the off chance that you do run out of battery, they provide you with a decently wide gear range so that you can granny gear your way to the destination. At the moment, you can only purchase the bike through radpowerbikes.com, which has been their business model for quite a long time. They give you the option to pay in full or do monthly payments, which is great. Because of their direct to consumer model, this bike will be delivered wherever you please and can be assembled by anyone who feels good about following a few simple steps. The Rad Wagon comes in three different colors, orange, black, and white, which provides you with another option to make the bike specific to you and your lifestyle. So now that you're more familiar with the Rad Wagon and all the parts come on it, you can see that it's an essentially a replacement for your car or other commuter vehicle. One of the reasons that is, is because of how powerful this bike is. Even with a heavier grocery load or a few extra passengers, you're going to be able to get from point A to point B with relative ease while still feeling like you're in control and staying cool. Another thing is the long lasting battery on this bike. You're gonna average anywhere between 25 and 35 miles on a charge, and that's on full blast. For being around 77 pounds, that is absolutely phenomenal, and we were super impressed with that. This bike also has a lot of customization points. Regardless of your lifestyle, you're going to be able to customize this bike exclusive to you. For us, we liked having passengers on the back, so we actually added the deck pads and the running boards. That way we could fit a couple kids or a full grown adult on the back and still get along with our journey and feel like we were in control and had that power. Another great thing about this bike is the stopping power. While they are mechanical disc brakes on this, the Tektro brakes that they've added have extreme modular adjustability and they also have a lot of stopping power on top of that even if you are really moving. That's essential so you don't spill your cargo load, tip over your passengers or yourself and stuff like that. We also really like 
the standover height on this bike. The standover height is going to fit people anywhere between 5'1 and 6'4. And chances are you're going to be within that uh, height range there, so it shouldn't be an issue for you. If you are on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to height, it may be a little bit harder for you to move around, but when you're riding, again, you're gonna feel like you are in full control. So when it comes to the Rad Wagon, there's not a lot of things that I would change, but there is a couple. One of the things that I would change is the availability on the 22 inch by three inch wide tires. While they are great and they do lower the standover height, they are a little bit hard to come by. So I would definitely recommend picking a few of those up for extras at checkout so you have them ready to go in a pinch. Chances are your local bike shop probably won't have the size in stock. So like I said, maybe order a few of those in advance just to be pro proactive as opposed to reactive with those. Another thing that I would like to see on this bike, and this may just be a personal preference, is a suspension fork. I know some riders are gonna have your occasional gravel road or a little bit gravel, more rough surface. This bike is going to be a lot more suited to that if it does have a suspension fork. And when you do have cargo on the front or rear, it's gonna keep that a little bit more stable when you are on those rougher surfaces. I would like hydraulic disc brakes, but I do understand why they didn't put them on. This bike is 77 pounds, so for those smaller riders, it is going to feel a little bit heavy. However, when you are riding the bike, it feels relatively weightless below you. You're not going to have to put in much effort when you are riding it. That pretty much concludes the Rad Wagon 4. If you'd like to see more info on this bike, be sure to click the link in our description and leave a comment below about what you think of this bike or what else you'd like to know about this bike. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more e-bike content, and I'll see you next time. My name is Pierce with electricbikereport.com, and I really appreciate you guys watching.